Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this, I don't know what I'm gonna name it, so for now it's a witty makeup look because I feel like it gives you that feeling. It just gives me that mood. There's probably no such thing as a witty makeup look. However, this is the vibes that this whole look gives me. A little resume of what you're going to see in this video. Obviously you're going to see how I apply every single one of the products, how to intensify your eyes without using a lot of product, without necessarily using pencils or eyeliners or any liquid products because I know some of you have issues on using that. And in this video, I'm also going to show you how I do these eyebrows. This is the makeup we're talking about. Now let's get into it. This is a bunch of fake hair, just so you guys know. Thought I should just change it up a little bit. I'm starting with the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is in the color 4 Sunny Flash and it's, uh, I agree, it's very, very dark because I've applied some self-tan on. I'll put in my description box what self-tan I'm currently using. So it's, uh, it's very dark, actually. Once you spread it, it's not as crazy. This in summer on tanned skin, oh, it would look so pretty. My current favorite foundation is the Bytery Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation with SPF 30, a great everyday foundation. I recommend you to apply this with a damp sponge. This is a Fenty sponge. I really love this one. What I like about this foundation is that it's just so natural on my skin. It covers beautifully, but it's not a full coverage foundation, not even close, more like a medium coverage, I would say. And it looks beautiful if you have the CC Serum from the same brand under it. I believe that they are, you know, designed to work together perfectly. What a great finish. I absolutely adore this foundation. I'll be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the color Custard and it is one of my favorite concealers. The past few weeks I was using the Pat McGrath concealer and a lot of you were asking me if I could start using some others because you didn't get the chance to buy that one. So I'm going to alternate. What I really love about the NARS concealers is that they're just so versatile. They work for so many skin types. I applied it with this 142 brush from Zoeva, but then I felt like it was a bit too much, so I've used this part, the clean part of my beauty blender. Oh, beauty sponge. Sorry, Fenty. Whenever I feel like the concealer is a bit too heavy, because sometimes I can be heavy-handed, especially when, when I'm in a hurry. This was left on my brush. I'll apply some concealer, but not to conceal or to hide anything. Just because it's lighter, I will use it to brighten up a little bit the center of the face, like the chin, a little bit between my eyebrows. Huda Beauty Tantour in light. I'll take it with the Kat Von D Locket powder brush. Listen, you guys, this is such a versatile brush. You could use it for powder, for cream. I, I truly love it. I still love all the other bronzing products that I have. The only thing about this one is that it's fast. You can blend it super, super fast. It doesn't need like a special attention. You could just tap, 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 tap. I would say it's more of a beginner friendly kind of a product and it's also matte. So if you have oily skin, you will love this. I'm going to apply this cream blush from Fenty. This is in Strawberry Drip. You have to be very careful on how to apply, on how you apply this blush. I mean, it's beautiful. The formula is amazing. However, because it's very hydrating, you want to make sure you literally like dab it on your skin. Like don't, don't rub it. That's not going to be good. Time to set the good old Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I always get back to this one. This is an amazing powder. So every time I get back to it, I'm like, ah, oh, hello, good old friend. I'll use this Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush. But first, I make sure 
my concealer didn't crease and if it did I spread it first and then immediately apply the powder. This brush is actually part of a set. I don't think it's sold individually. Then I'm going to move on with a little bit of powder bronzer and this one is the Il Maquillage Mineral Baked Bronzer in Waka Waka. Now a lot of you are probably wondering like didn't she just apply cream bronzer? I agree I applied cream bronzer and I could just leave it like that. However if I want this to be super long lasting which I do because I'm going to leave the house in about one hour and I'm probably going to be back in nine ten hours. I really want my makeup to last and also to look good in pictures. I'm more concerned about the longevity. Like the powder really helps the makeup to like stay put. And I could apply just regular translucent powder, but I want just a pinch more bronzer. Again, this is a Sonia G Master Face Brush. I'm going to do my eyebrows. For those of you who are new in here, I normally use the Glossier Brow Pen. It's called Brow Flick. And that's my absolute favorite product for my eyebrows. However, I finished it and I forgot to place an order in time. I did now, but it's gonna take a while until it gets here. So I'm going to go on with my second favorite product, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Is in medium brown. Medium brown is a very, very nice, like cool tone brown. I guess one of the reasons why I love so much Anastasia brow products, it's also because of the colors. So I usually start with the tail and I do light strokes. Wherever I feel like my brow needs a little help. The brow wiz compared with the brow flick is much more powdery. It gives you that very powdery effect, as you can see, which is fine if you like this. I think that the brow flick is just more of a modern approach to the eyebrows. And I'd say that the brow wiz is more of a classic product. Right. Now in order to give that very realistic look, because right now it, it looks a little bit too powdery for my taste. I mean, as much as I love this pow as much as I love the brow wiz, I really like that very realistic effect where you could literally see each and every one of the, ha the hairs. Now in order to get a little bit of that three-dimensional feeling on the eyebrows, I'm gonna use Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. So you wanna brush it through and you want to lift them like this. And that's what's going to make it look a little bit more realistic than if it's like just a block of color. Look at this Natasha Denona mini nude palette. Isn't this so pretty? I was a little disappointed when the other day literally like pieces of the eyeshadow just fell as I was opening, when I was opening it. I mean, the, the eyeshadows are so creamy, so incredibly creamy, and they have a ton of pigment. I think one of the reasons why they don't hold as well is the fact that they have that much pigment. And in my opinion, instead of getting the $125 or $130 big palette that you might not use, I mean, not all the colors probably, I totally suggested to get these. First of all, there's a lot of product in here. I challenge you to finish one of these palettes. And this is like $25, which is a fair price. What I suggest you, if you wanna get like super shine finish on these eyeshadows, the metallic ones, use them with your finger. If you wanna use them like just a little bit, just to give you a beautiful glow on the eyelids, use them with a brush because you're not gonna get the same pigment and it's going to be more wearable for daytime. I'm actually going to take it with a brush because I don't want that crazy pigment and I'll start directly with this color in the middle. And you see, if you apply with the brush, it just gives you that, oh, there is a little something in there, but not crazy. Morphe M514 brush. All right, now I'm going to go straight into the darkest color right here. 
And I'm going to take this Refer 23 brush, looks like this. It's a tiny little detail brush. And I know that you guys usually buy only like face brushes, but I'm telling you for eyes, brushes makes the whole difference. I took that dark matte color at the base of the lashes. This will beautifully frame your eye and it will also give the illusion that your eyelashes are thicker. And this color is actually a color that everyone will look good with. As you can see, this will make my eye look pretty round. Nothing wrong with that. However, I do like a bit elongated, a bit lifted eye look. I'm gonna look straight in my mirror with the eyes relaxed. And imagine there's a line that continues from the waterline towards the end of my eyebrow. I just do this, this tiny little flick. Then with my finger, I spread it. I intensify this. And then with my finger, I like to pull the color. If it's too much, you just dab it with your finger like this. And here's what I'm gonna do. I will mix this matte eyeshadow right here with this one right here and I will apply that color on top of this beautiful chocolatey like this and it just lifts the eye without anything too dramatic this brown right here it's really really pretty it's very special it it's like a rich chocolate. I'll take that same matte chocolatey eyeshadow and apply it at the outer corner but on the lower lash line and as you can see I get it. I get quite a lot of product right there at the outer corner and then I spread it with my finger on the waterline a little bit. Can you see? It gets a little bit on the waterline. It's also in between the lashes. And then with my finger, I just spread. I will curl my lashes with the Laura Mercy Eyelash Curler. This is surprisingly good. And I say surprisingly because, you know, Laura Mercier is not really into accessories, but this is really, really good. If you're looking for a good eyelash curler, check out this one. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now you know the drill, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the lower lashes, on the outer half of the eye, so I won't apply it in the inner corner. I feel like this is a very like playful makeup look. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Pillow Talk. If you guys haven't heard about the famous Pillow Talk lip liner, this is where everything started. This looks amazing on fair, light, light, medium, medium. Everything that is, you know, darker than medium skin tone, there is Pillow Talk Medium, or I think it's called Pillow Talk Dark, also from Charlotte Tilbury. So now everybody's covered. What I'm telling you, this literally looks good on everybody. In terms of lipstick, I've got two options. Extremely similar color. It's just that one is hydrating, the other one is matte. They are both from Charlotte Tilbury. The one that I'm going to use is In Love with Olivia. This lipstick is oh, so beautiful. Check this out. amazing color, right? However, if you're looking for a, the matte version of this, I'll put everything in the description, by the way, Super Cindy. So Super Cindy looks like this. It's, I'm telling you, it's the exact same color as I have on my lips, but it's matte. And this one is In Love with Olivia, the one that I've just used. The difference is so, so tiny between them. Like the In Love with Olivia looks like it has just a pinch more pink in it. Great everyday lipstick. 
great everyday lipstick. What I suggest you though is to use a lip liner. I told you a lot of times, lip liner is so underrated. Not only that is going to prevent your lipstick from migrating, you know sometimes you use a hydrating lipstick and it starts to like migrate in the like tiny little wrinkles you have on around your lips. Use a lip liner that's going to prevent that what it also does it helps you have a very precise you know guidance you will apply the lipstick so much easier now instead of using highlighter i'm going to use the touch a luminous dewy skin mist if you have dry or dehydrated skin normal skin you will love this don't use this if you have oily skin i think you're not gonna like this because it, it basically gives you that dewy that very shiny skin that I've noticed that people who have oily skin don't really appreciate that kind of glow for the rest of us raisins we love all the hydration in the world why am I replacing the highlighter with this because it gives you an expensive shine this is how I like to call it I feel like now it's all about that glass skin that skin like glow and you could get that with this I'm only going to apply it on the sides of the face because on my T-zone, I do get oily, so. You can see that beautiful shine of the skin. You know, it's not like the regular shine that a highlighter would give you, but still, I prefer this. Let's get you further away so you can see the whole thing. I love how it turned out. Definitely recommend this tiny little palette. If you don't have anything similar, of course, just make sure you don't drop it like I did because the eyeshadows are not very drop proof. Please let me know in the comments what colors would you like to see more in terms of lipstick or eyeshadow. I do my makeup all the time and I tend to go towards the same colors that I think suit me the best. I want you to find yourself in my makeup looks. I want you to find your colors in my makeup looks. So let me know if there are any colors that you struggle with, that you you have challenges with, or that you'd like to try. Put it in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Kim K wanna be? You can't get bored if you have a tail. And there we have.